a lot of sunlight on me. Flying kind of high like a bumblebee. Feel so good, knew I would. Man, I'm loving this synergy. Greystone is described as one of the rising stars of the New Zealand wine industry. All of our wines are made from grapes grown on our ancient and spectacular piece of land in the Waipara Valley, ensuring our wines are intrinsically connected with the New Zealand environment. Settled on by two brothers, Peter and Bruce Thomas, after extensive searches throughout New Zealand, this special piece of land has a profound influence on the Greystone team. We chose this site in particular because it gave us the opportunity to uh, work the land in a way that extrapolated the natural beauty of the land and enabled us to use the limestone content of the soil. What makes the Greystone Vineyard site so special is we have a lot of combinations which give us a lot of microclimate, so different aspects and slopes and soil types and altitudes. They all combine to make lots of combinations and we can put different grape varieties into those areas where we think they'll perform the best. Situated on the Teviotdale Hills, Greystone acquires its name from the grey limestone found throughout our vineyard. This amazing stone is a legacy of the hill's sudden uplift from the sea floor and is studded with marine fossils. It's got a lot of grey limestone and this just gives up the right amount of moisture and uh, makes for um, very textural and interesting wines. Pinot Noir grows especially well in these soils uh, with beautiful fruit intensity. From the beginning, the leap of faith taken by the Thomas brothers was rewarded. The very first national show entered, the Air New Zealand Wine Awards, resulted in the Greystone Riesling winning gold. The Chardonnay did the same in the next show. This was followed by an avalanche of recognition over a short period of time, which included national awards for the Pinot Gris, Gewürztraminer and Pinot Noir. There's a big people factor in that equation because there's a, a group of us that all have a, what would, I would call an intangible bond. We all work together very well. It's just a really good feeling of being part of a family that's trying to achieve the same thing. The people at Greystone love the land and really feel connected to the land. I'm a very keen tramper, snow skier, um, trout fisher. Nick, our viticulturalist, is a keen fisher, hunter, and of course our winemaker, Dom, he's a snowboarder and a mountain biker. We all feel comfortable around the land, and this has made it easy for us to um, develop the vineyard in a sustainable way. It's our natural philosophy, uh, and we don't really have to go away from our central values to do that. Without our customers, we wouldn't be able to do what we love. In recognition of this, Greystone has established the Cornerstone Club and holds days in the vineyard throughout the year. This is a chance for loyal customers to get beyond the cellar door out into the vineyard to be part of the team. Reflecting Greystone's passion for local food, a spectacular vineyard lunch rewards their efforts. The fruits of their labour, a wine known as the Cornerstone Club Pinot Noir, is bottled into magnums each year. While our vineyard is formed from an ancient piece of land, the Greystone team is young, fresh and full of promise. The sense of place expressed through all of Greystone's wines suggests there is much more story to be told.